All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome to another Rivals of Ixalan draft on Magic Online. I forgot what the name of the set was, and uh, now I remembered. Induced Amnesia, not a rare I ever care about. Charging Tuscodon. I feel like this card is just too slow. Like, isn't it just oh, it's a five drop? I'll never open on a five drop because it's just too slow. Maybe. Like this card is good. I think it's just this guy, right? The rare is pretty bad. The rare is terrible. Is that two drops you? Uh, it enters battlefield tapped. It's a two two for two, and you may cast it from your graveyard if you gain life this turn. Not bad. Pretty easy. Yeah, pretty pretty hard to deal with, but also not super. Balance guy seems pretty good. What an appropriate rare for your forgetfulness. What forgetfulness? What happened? Did I forget something? I I feel like it's just this guy, right? This is just like the best card in this. This is the best common in the set. It might be. I feel like it is. I'm going to take it. Oh, I think I like this guy. What is this? This is just the Brainstorm guy? Yeah, I don't care about that. I think it's just this guy. This guy's great. It's just a 2-2 flyer for three, but if you have the City's Blessing, like it gets a plus one, plus one counter every turn. The Red Dawn helped you go 3-0 in two drafts today? That's pretty insane. That's a lot of drafts. You already forgot that you forgot the name of the set. This is going to be... Oh, my God. You're right. I was like, welcome to another... Uh, Champions of Kamigawa draft here on Magic Online. Is that right? The best format. Oh, what? The double resplendent griffin. I got way too excited about that. I was like, that's amazing. Just a bird. Feels good, though. Is just it better than... This guy just might be better, but I think I like the 2-2. Two -two. Nah. Neff Moondrakes. Thank you so much for the sub. Nine months in a row. I really appreciate it, buddy. You are awesome. I'm going to take old Neff Moondrakes. I mean, no. Resplendent Griffin. Oh, God. What's wrong with me today? Hey, man. Let me see them sea legs. No. Okay. <laughs> no. God. Yeah, well, you, you messed up, man. You didn't get your 14 hours of sleep. Yeah, I messed up. It's my it's my bad. Is it Conquistador here? Really? <laughs> You've been awake for six <laughs> hours, dude. Yeah, I'll be going to sleep in two more. Oh, my God. Why are you the way that you are? Probably can keep store. Is it? I mean, there's no, this pack is pretty bad, so whatever. Forerunner of the Legion. So this guy searches for a vampire, put it on top. Whenever you, another vampire enters the battlefield, target creature gets plus one, plus one until later turn. Eh, it's kind of meh. Why is there a griffin? Like, what? why griffin? Why is there, like, there's, like, one griffin, one snake, one serpent in the in this set. I don't even understand why there's these random dudes. Jay Trendy with 10 bones. Donating to help might be getting a new body since his, seemed to have, since his seems to have uh, either revolted. I think he wrote since his seems to have twice, but that's okay. Dude, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. We will definitely help get Mike a new body. It's, uh, it's, it's not going to be an easy road, but... I think we can do it if we try. We'll get you there, buddy. One day? We'll get you that new body. Oh, we didn't take secrets because, like, I don't want another three drop. This format's really aggressive, so I just wanted to have more two drops. Wow, that is like late Dead Eye Rigor. And, and secrets is the one we draw two or draw three, right? Yeah. Yeah, I just don't care about that as much. I think it's easier to get later, and, uh... This card's great. I don't know how many dinosaurs we'll end up having. But if we do... Uh -huh. Yeah, I think it's just I think it's just this card. Even if you have one dinosaur, even if it's just this guy, you're dealing five in the air. Kidnap much? I think you mean kidnap Mitch. Yeah, I'm just gonna take Raptor again. Oh, look, the Amnesia Amnesia came back. It's almost like it's not a good card, and no one... Oh, wow. Two Masterminds acquisitions in this draft, apparently. I'm going to take Sun Sentinel. How many Raptors I is too I many? I could acquisition a better card. Actually, this card's good. One to encounter another vampire. I don't know if we're going to have many vampires, but I think it's fine. 
We'll put you over there for now. Yeah, I looked at Mike and I was like, how much sleep you get today? 14 hours? No way, man. You got to draft. ABD, always be drafting. Yeah, just cut a hole in the screen. That's where, uh, that's where my head is at. Yeah. Sleep is for old people. I am an old person. I found this meme today, which is kind of funny. Wow. <laughs> oh, boy. Good times, good times. Traveler's Amulet, I don't see us playing that. I like I like two cleansing rays in the sideboard. That's nice. For all your vampire needs. Okay. What was that? What was what? You just Oh, there was a thing in the air that was floating. Oh. <laughs> just like, uh. I was like, mm -hmm. Sometimes you're just like doing this in the air, just randomly. I saw like a little thing floating, and so I was like, get out of here, a little thing. And then it was gone. I guess we'll take this island. I'm going to let it go naturally, though, so I don't like accidentally double click on. Ooh, look at this bad boy. I got to see what that guy's going for, just so I don't. Uh... Remember when Yokum used to. What happened to Yokum? I think Yokum's been taking a break from magic. Silver Guild Adept's good in the in the deck that is bound to have zero Merfolk. Yeah, no. Uh, totally. This guy's a dollar. I don't care about that. I'm not looking forward to dealing with this though. But I guess it's not a Swiss draft still, so or a, a pod. So I think it's actually just this guy. You don't want to take a twelve drop. A twelve drop that's off color. Yeah. Huh. Um. You, no. No, I don't you think can so. Be green. Why not Bant? Hmm. While that is compelling, I am going to say no. Okay. I just want this because it's a 2 1 flyer for one. So I'm going to take it. If you're blessed. I'm always blessed. I stay Pretty blessed. Hashtag pop blessed. Oh, Exultant Marcher, huh? Okay. Okay. Seems fine. This seems like a poor man's Mark of the Vampire, right? It gets 1 1 in lifelink instead of 2 2 in lifelink, but it makes it's a 1 1. Though. Yeah. Also one with mana. Wow, another one of these guys? No respect. I feel like this card kills every creature in this format. Let's see how many cards in my deck this kills. Uh, yes. 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 No. Yes. 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 Okay, so it kills literally 10 out of 11 creatures in my deck. Not bad. Yeah, you might say that's actually pretty good. Mm, Crashing Tide is still good, even if we don't have Merfolk. It was either that or Secret Skin, but like I think the cards that actually interact with the board are a little better. Uh, Miss Cloak Herald is fine. You Maybe. Two dead eye rig haulers that we want to trigger. That's a good way to trigger them. That's actually a good point. I like I like where your head's at. Oh, Divine Verdict is just fine, I guess. Why is this Raging Regisaur still in here? That's pretty good. Eh, whatever. We'll put you in the deck. Put you in, put, in, put him in the game, coach. I'm just going to take this Sanctuary in case we want to splash a black card. And there might be another one. I think there's another one coming around. Who knows? Magic is hard. Magic is hard. Right? <sighs> We've only just... Why do I have the song stuck in my head? Can you explain that to me? No. Oh, that's rude. Never. It's never rude? Yeah. 
That's an interesting deck card. Okay, it's all right, I guess. It's just better than cancel. So if we ever want cancel, I mean, we're not going to play this guy or sea legs. So this guy's fine. I like having a negate, negate. But does it like having you? It's hard to say. You know, I mean, negate's a very complicated being. Look how well organized. Our sideboard is literally white and blue cards. That's pretty funny. Hilarious. <laughs> Hilarious. I drafted Dragon's Maze and only drafted dog cards, and I got six Boros Mastiffs. It was so lit. Oh, my God. <laughs> Can you only draft dog cards in that set? Yeah, look, a Secrets came back. Playable. Eh, take that in case we need to splash a red card. And we got a Traveler's Amulet, so our fixing is not terrible here if we uh, ever have a red or a black card. What do we want to open here? What's the best card in the set? I actually have no idea. I don't either. Kumina? Rekindling Phoenix is probably the best thing. Yeah, that card's great. Let's hope we open a Rekindling Phoenix. I'll also take a Jade, Jade Light Ranger or a Kumina. Um, oh, those are not going to be able to be opened because this is an Ixalan pack and not a... Oh, yeah. I forgot for a second. Uh, yeah, this guy's fine. Wish we had more vampers. I mean, he triggers himself, right? So if he's on board, he's always going to trigger. So It's better than this. I think it's better than this. Yeah, I think this guy's fine. I also think Sanguine Glorifier is getting closer to making an appearance. This card is not going to do it. No. This card might. This card's probably the pick. Old Hammer Skull. <laughs> Little cutie. Little bumpin' cutie. Also, it uh, combos with our majestic Helioptorus. You know, if that does anything for you. It doesn't. Okay, well that's unfortunate. Hear that noise? Is that like the PS3? Yeah. PS4? Yes. I don't even know what PlayStation is. I always get them confused. Is that because I'm old? It might be. That's unfortunate. Oh my god, look at this dude. <laughs> oh my god. I passed favorable wind? I mean... I didn't even see favorable Depths wind. Of desire? I don't even think it's that. What? Depths of desire. Is that better than this? Just taking this guy and maybe splashing it. That seems super greedy. It's double black. You're double black. Yes. Ugh. We don't even have that many vampires. It's just a greedy thing to do because I want to take it. It's super greedy. I think our deck's fine. We have float. I actually kind of like this. It protects our guy. It protect. For one. I guess. Yeah, I like that. Oh, that's a good dude. Solid. I don't think we've added any creatures to our deck that still don't die to, like, a card like this. Like, this guy still dies. Oh, 2-3. We got 1-2-3. And we've added uh, the 3-3 three, three from the sideboard. So we added two creatures to our deck that don't die to, you know, the two damage to everything. Eh, just take 1-3 flyer, I guess. Sure. Another Conquistador. Well, this is our deck so far. What is this thing? Target player puts half of his library rounded up into his or her graveyard. I couldn't care about that less, I think. I guess we just take Windstrider. Seems fine. Oh, 2-5 and a Sailor of Memes. 
still have memes? Memes. You know memes, man. Like the internet? Like the internet. You know, like the internet. It came back. That's actually pretty good. We I have feel a like... lot of flyers. Yeah, we do, actually. This guy, this guy. Two conquistadors. I might just take out the conquistadors. Yeah, I don't care about this guy. Don't really care about one of you. Probably you. And this could be our deck. Or we can actually keep that guy in and just take out this one drop. Which I think I like better. Probably correct. Mike has had his nap today. Now we just have to pray. Frank is up and ready to go. So, Mike, time to go with the flow. This deck will go to the sky. So, sure, you're sure, Mike. Don't be shy. I think we will crush it with white-blue. So, the question is to Mike, what will you do? So, let's see what this deck can get. Just don't let them touch your spaghetti. <laughs> Such long-windedness. Oh. Somebody touch my spaghetti! Such long-windedness. Sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta make those long-winded rhymes, though, bro. Is that guy in the background a ghost? Uh, only sometimes. <laughs> He's the ghost of Ixalan past. Also, somebody touched his spaghetti, so he's a little upset about that. I can't believe it. I can't either. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. Wish they didn't go through my spaghetti. What? Wish they didn't go through my spaghetti. Did they go through it or did they touch it? Both. That's messed up, man. Mike would make an awesome stepbrother. You mean like Will Farrell or uh You haven't even seen that movie? I've seen half like part of it, a quarter of it. You've seen a quarter of it, huh? I stopped it halfway. Wow. I'm just gonna load this deck up like this. I think it looks good. You don't need to watch that movie. It's great. I think Raptor Companion is fine in the early game because you need something to like hold the hold the fort. Plus we have double majestic Helioptorus, so I'm okay with I'm tempted to cut one of these though. For maybe an Admiral's orders? I don't I don't know about all that. I feel like we can though. It's a, it's a, it's a four drop, and we don't have that many dinosaurs. I think we have like three dinosaurs. Emerald's orders is so bad. You have to attack to make it trigger. It's bad, but it's also a cancel, right? So it's I mean, at worst, you just counter a spell on their turn. But you can also like attack with your guys, and if they try to kill one of your guys during combat, like it's a one mana get rid of a divine verdict. I don't know. Did you just knock on the door. Yeah. Maybe it's just secrets. Let's try secret, secrets. Secret, We've got some secrets. Secret, secret. All right. All right, let's see if this is our final, our, finally our 3-0 deck. I don't think we've 3-0'd yet. So, you guys should make bunk beds so much more room for activities. Yeah, they... <laughs> good quote. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good movie that I've seen a quarter of. God, you're such a son of a Mitch. Let's watch it then, man. Tonight? Let's watch it right now on stream. I don't know if we can do that. I don't think we can. I'll keep this hand. We got three drop. That makes more guys. So we're probably dead because we don't have a turn. We'll play till turn three. That's kind of how this format goes, right? I think so. Name your favorite dinosaur. Oh, God. Maybe it's an Allosaur. I'm a big Allosaur fan. What's that one? It's the one with the... It looks like an armadillo, but it's got a big spiky tail. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Are, did our opponent just F6 his turn? Well, that's not good. Alexa in the... Oh, oh. 
Alexa just said no worries when I said that. I'm like, did our opponent just have six his turn? And then Alexa was like, no worries. And I was like, Like, I totally feel like it was my fault because he said, like, he, he was saying it was cool that it was me. And I was like, oh, no, did I just totally distract this guy and make him miss his land drop? I blame myself, really. I was like, hey, this guy missed his land drop. And then Alex was like, no worries. And I was like, why? How do you know no worries? He could be. No, it's cool. I'm just tired. <laughs> All right, well, Baby Sinclair is definitely not the best dino. That's probably the worst dino. What about Littlefoot? Littlefoot's a good dino. How about Ducky? Yeah, all those dino all the Land Before Time, di time dinosaurs are good dinosaurs, right? I think so. Those are the only two I can name, so. They're good boys, Brent. I'm not blocking this 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 dummy. This is some real Assassin's Creed art right here. She's about to jump off this thing into a pile of hay. Hmm. Now I'm tempted to play this guy into her next turn. Had I had I had this, I would have played this guy last turn, made a guy, and then made it a three three so that they can't block it. But that ain't the way magic works, buddy. I'm not going to bounce that thing, though. How does that guy get a counter? Who? Oh, this. When there's a battlefield, put a 1-1 counter on another vampire you control. No, the other card. Oh, we if we have the city's blessing, blessing okay. yeah. But then it gets one every single time it attacks. Which is pretty good. Yeah, what do you think? I'm a fop man? Come on, D-Shamblin. Well, that's sad. Oh, this guy should help with our with our with our city's blessing too. Making dudes for days. It doesn't put it into play attacking, right? Okay, good. Cause that's not what we want. The story behind the actress who voices Ducky is tragic. Her dad killed her in a murder-suicide. She was seven. Oh, Jesus. my God. Well, that's terrifying. Not not this guy, because I'm probably just going to bounce it. But the Ducky suicide thing is just... Oh, my God. That's horrible. I have no idea what the best tribe and colors to draft in Rivals is. I, I am the wrong person to ask, unfortunately. I mean, someone touched my spaghetti once, so... Play a guy before combat. I can't... Oh, well, it can't because we can't trigger the raid. Wait. No, you wouldn't have enough mana. Though. Yeah, I mean, we could have done it. We could have just done it and then not bounce this just to get the counter. That's probably not worth it. Yeah, this is fine. This is just fine. I mean, I think they're going to double block here, which is understandable. Oh, we got it anyway. Oh, dang it, though. Hmm. Okay. Oh, you're going to pump that guy, aren't you? No, that's unfortunate. Eh, it's still a one for one. Get busy rigging. Yes, use the ability, please. Uh, I Okay, so real talk, I have not been a huge fan of this format so far. I don't think Mike has been either. Mm -mm. <laughs> uh -uh. Mm -mm. I mean, uh, you can actually tell how little of a fan we are because Mike actually lost his body over the format. Yeah, it was real tragic. I uh, feel bad for him. 
Somebody once touched my spaghetti. I said, man, touch my spaghetti. I'll have a little spaghetti. Well, spaghetti gets colder and spaghetti. Spaghetti gets colder and spaghetti. <laughs> Look, it's not the best, okay? Certainly not, your finest work. Rick's is so bad it killed Mike and now he's ghost. I, uh... I agree with that. That is what happened. Mike needs a little change. Do I even need to play more guys here? Probably one more dude. I'll play old crappy rappy. Crappy the rappy. See, everyone thinks that you're doing the green screen thing that we talked about. And really, you just wore a blue shirt. That's more green than blue. And so now it looks I like I didn't that, participate. I don't think it's that green. I don't either. Surprised. Let me actually turn the green screen off real quick so you guys can see how not green it is. All right, you ready? This is how green Mike's shirt is right now. It's like not even green. It's literally like a blue shirt. So yeah, now you can see. So he didn't wear this like specifically to do like some green meme. Like he just wore it to like because it's a shirt. So now I turn it back on and it's gone. <laughs> oh boy! You can hear the acoustic getting louder if you listen hard enough. Oh boy! What is it? Someone said the tribe I have had the most success with is green and black to just pick up everyone else's castoffs and slam them together. I guess we'll take two. Huh. It's not bad. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now we're just going to play this guy. And we got five in the air now. I wish when we dropped the green screen, Mike was really wearing green feety jammies. That would be lit. <laughs> I'll pick some of those up. I don't know why you're not wearing them now. What does this guy do? Hexproof can't be blocked. Okay. That seems fine. These two are going in the air. Oof, aggressive. No, less aggressive. I mean, they're just going to double block here, right? But it gets rid of their flyers. Hmm. Oh. Another weird block. Well, this guy doesn't fly anymore, I guess. I like Windstrider, but I don't like that this guy's going to be a 3 3. I'm pretty sure we just actually play Windstrider here and just attack with everyone. And then they have to block. They'll block here, block here. They'll take four, but they'll go to five. They're not dead. I wonder if they concede here. I wonder if they're like, oh, dang it, we're dead. Okay, they did not. <laughs> like there's no point of attacking with the ground guys even because 
they go to one here if we attack with just this guy. And otherwise they go block two, two to one, one, three, one to one, one. They gain one, so they go to five. And they take three, four. And then we just lose a vampire yeah, for nothing. We just go to one and we lose an extra guy. Yeah, that seems worse. I wonder if it actually I wonder if this set is not this this set is not good to draft or if it's just like if we're just biased? I don't know. Alright, they have to top deck a flyer here. Huh, well, that's also an answer, I guess. Nice tap deck. You can't don't attack with that guy. Oh, that's actually great. So now we can attack with this gentleman. They will block, and we will murder it. Which is dark, but... If only our guy had trample. Alright. Pass it up. Why aren't you playing Raptor's Companion, you might ask? I would ask that. I don't know. You don't like winning games? Could we just alpha there for the win? They no. go to two. They go back to one. They two. block here. They go block, block. No, it's the same thing. It's the same attack. There's no alpha for the win there. So, like, they block here. These two are taken care of. They go three, three on one, one. Those are taken care of. Two, two on one, one. They take one, but they gain one. So, they just stay at one. Oh, we could have divine verdict his life gain guy. Yeah, it's fine. I don't think either. Yeah, I mean that that would have actually probably been fine, <laughs> considering they had no cards in hand. Winning's pretty good. Um, they did have vampires. Cleansing race seems great. They had vampires and uh, they had water knots. So. Yeah, I feel like I definitely haven't been playing enough magic. Like I don't I just don't play as much anymore, so like I'm missing simple lines like that, which is kind of frustrating. Sheltering light, it's not super great. I guess that's fair. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so I'm just like I wasn't even thinking about killing his one one. Like it just wasn't even on my radar. I'm just like, oh I just want to kill with my flyer, so. Hmm. This hand is great if magic implements a rule where you have a land deck and a regular deck. And then I can just choose to draw the lands that I want to. Um, so we're gonna mulligan here. Yeah, this hand is actually great. Oh wow, turn two, turn two, turn three this guy, and then we have like infinite ways to attack. That seems great. I'll keep you on top, sure. You're a fun you're a beautiful bird. A gorgeous special man at A's. Why are you like this? Why are you the way that you are? <laughs> uh, troll worship definitely seems like a way to get a lot of free wins in modern what's troll worship it's where you play like troll aesthetic and worship so they can't kill your troll aesthetic and then you have just worship out so they can't kill you oh yeah that's pretty good hey that's uh that's a pretty good mike is a beautiful birdie it's a weird thing to say but Taken two. <laughs> Brian, uh, <laughs> I wish I could say I watched the whole stream, but I got to work. Good luck, Frank. I decided to go ahead and top you off. Six, six, print. Thank you so much, man. You are awesome. I'll send you a message after the stream tonight so uh, we can we can get our our ducks in a row, as they say, and we'll figure figure out what's going on. Thank you so much, man. You are awesome. Really appreciate it. Preach, as uh, as Mike would say. 
I wouldn't say that. You say preach all the time. I don't preach the way you're talking to me. No, you do. All right, well, since my strategy is to tactically skip my first turn didn't work out, I'll play it tight this time. Solid. Uh-oh, here we go. Here we go. What? What? None? I don't understand. Hmm, interesting. I am intrigued. All right, well, I guess we're taking three and going to ten. This is an aggressive start. See, see what happens when you don't have two drops? You're just like, oh, darn. Hey, you want to read this? <laughs> you got to read it out loud, man. So long, though. I'm trying to play magic over here, bro. Wow, this is a lot of things. I remember the mic from the past, but when he was drunk, he had a blast. Now he mumbles in the back and just tries to keep the track. No worries in the word today. And as you know, <laughs> someone will have to pay. World, Ghost, I imagine it's world today. Probably. Ghost Mike is still looking scary. If opponent didn't F6, this would be Harry. Now win this stuff so I can watch it win at last. It's 5 a.m. here, so I'm going to... So I'm going, but just to keep the chat flowing. Keep them in the line... With the line chat, so they are no looser. In line. When this goes on YouTube, it will be no snoozer. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. I don't know how we win this game now. Like, we play this guy, we attack for two, get a little Vampirino. This is a lot of early things. This format is really dumb. I didn't feel it in game one, but I'm feeling it now. Come on, come on, feel it, feel it. What does that mean? It's just a song. It doesn't mean anything. It's... <laughs> It doesn't mean anything. Songs don't mean anything. On the bright side, they only have two uh, two cards in hand, so... Unless they go land guy next turn, they don't have the city's blessing. What's a land guy? My dad. Oh. I'm okay, land guy. If we draw blue, we can play this guy and this guy, which is pretty good. Alright, there's a land. Here comes a guy. Here comes a land and here comes a guy. I don't think I'm comfortable with the word snoozer. <laughs> yeah, that's not a comfortable word. I agree with you. I understand what you're what you're saying right now. Who boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We would go to two here. And they've already shown us that they have us they have us a tr they have us a trick. God, do I really just throw this guy out? You gotta. It seems bad. Alright. Well, Go to five instead. Five alive. Oh my god, this is so many things. Oof. Handful of blue cards. If we literally had one more island, we could... Yeah, play, I played win not to survive, but we actually have to survive in order to win. So those are not uh, mutually exclusive. We did. Yeah, well, we can block... We did. Uh, I guess we just play old Griffums. Old Scruff McGriff the Crime Dog. I guess we're good. But we're not. Oh, damn. I didn't think of that. <laughs> Mind blown gif. Oh. Well, dude. Why, why are you the way that you are? Hey, that's pretty good. All right. Well, 
I guess we're just going to run it back. Old run backs. Because, you know, that's how you do it in Magic the Gathering. Zip zap, zip zip zap. Zippity doo dah, Dave. Zip it up and zip it out. You know, like you do. No one does that. Yeah, some people do that. Nobody. What did you say to me? Nobody. Zip zap, bitty boo. I have no idea what you're saying right now. Come on, you know. I think you're drunk. Like, more than you, like, more than you let on. I could be. Yeah. You could be all right. A little drunk. Get a little skunk. I see. I have no idea what that means. Go into the bunk. Yep. No idea. A little drunk, a little skunk, going to the bunk. Is that what you said, just to be clear? Uh, it may have been. Okay. Is that a Chad Bradbury? I just tried to fast forward through sideboarding. Well, <laughs> I do appreciate your honesty. I think the raid cancel is fine. I just don't think... Look, man, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know what's good enough in this format. This is a weird format. Where I'm like, ooh, a three drop? It's probably too slow. Cut it. Two five dragon seems fine. Chad Bradbury, smash, smash, smash those Bradberries. How do they not have a one or two drop? What's going on right now? Do I just draw two? I have to draw two, right? I don't save that until it's a three. Like just greedy to save that for one more card and like six permanents. But greed is good. Who said that, man? Is that a is that a is that a quote from something? Yeah, it's from Gordon the Gecko. Gordon the Gecko? Yeah. I am not I don't I could I I hate I don't want to say it crassly, but I just don't I don't care about baseball that much at all. I don't dislike it, but I dislike it. <laughs> wow. I think it's stupid. Michael Barthol. No, I don't think it's stupid. I just think it's boring. Okay, well, I think it it looks at you and it's like, "Wow, that dude is boring." That's fair. Yeah. So, uh, suck on the eggs, my friend. I will not. I will not. That's from The Room, only it's modified slightly. You're modified slightly. Really? Yeah. Wow. Got him. Really? That's what you're, this is where you want to be when Jesus comes back? Why are you the way that you are? Oh, this a guy. Soul of the Rapids. Man, this guy's doing work. Got four damage in there so far? Shouldn't we have gotten... Oh, they gained two. I was like, shouldn't we have gotten six damage in? They gained two life. I was actually worried we forgot to attack once. No blocks. Oh, look at that. Look at that bad Larry. Good one. I think we just let them pay two and then we just do a thing. You know what I'm saying? I think I know what you mean. You feel me? Come on, come on, feel it, feel it. <laughs> Pay two, little depths of desire, bounce that bad, 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 Larry. Oh, yeah. Got him. Oof. That free damage. Got it.
Oh boy. Um. Okay. I guess we'll take this and this. I guess we lose the. Actually, it's only killing this guy, right? Yeah. Which is fine. So they lost a slaughter and a pious, and we lost a soul and a sky marcher. Okay, that's actually not bad. Sure. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, you're one away from the the skies, skies city's blessing, whatever that means. Hmm. Well. I'm just going to play this, but I don't really want to. But I want another body on the board, so. Mm -hmm. They have three cards. I know one is the really good vampire. Uh, so long, little hammerhead. I hardly knew you. Oh, man, their deck is just a better version of ours, apparently. Baffling in, Pious Addiction, Slaughter. And we're like, oh, I'll just bounce your guy if that's okay. Mm hmm And I can still play 5-drop. Mm-hmm. Yep. Great draw there. <laughs> oh, if only two of our flyers were in the graveyard right now. Literally can't actually attack here. So we just take eight next turn. That's. I guess we lose round one again. R Rivals of Ixalan draft. You are Something. absolutely miserable, <laughs> unfortunately. Boy, oh boy, huh? That's Mickey Mouse. Do you know that? You're a Mickey Mouse. I accept. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, this is lethal next turn. They attack for four and then they attack for nine. Do we have any card that puts like multiple flyers into play? No. That's unfortunate. Oh. 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 Something for seven mana. Hmm. Okay, just that guy. Ooh, that'll do it. You having a good time? <sighs> Let's try again. To try again. This even wouldn't have even been good. Like we just suicide our whole team. They go block three one with one one, three three with four four, take two. We bounce their flyer. Big deal. Yeah. All right. I feel like our deck is actually like I feel like in any other draft format, this is an amazing deck. Like this is just a great deck. It's got a lot of flyers. It's got a lot of interaction. It's got removal. Like in any other format, this deck is probably pretty good. Like, we have a couple of good rares. But not an, not an Ixalan, ladies and gentlemen. It's weird that they make a bunch of 3-1 commons and uncommons. Or 3-1, like, 2 and 3 drops. X1, X1, 2 and 3 drops when there's so many tokens. 1-1 one, one tokens. Like, that just invalidate all of, their, all of your cards. Look, here's a 2-1. It's just invalidated by the millions of 1-1 one, one tokens that this format makes. It just doesn't make sense. I don't know why this format's so unenjoyable. Like, I can't... I'm trying to think of the the last format I really liked. The, the, the last draft format I really enjoyed. 
It wasn't Ixalan. I don't think it was Hour of Devastation or Amonkhet, definitely. I don't think it was Kaladesh and Aether Revolt. It feels like it's been a while since I really enjoyed a limited format. I mean, you just gotta warm up to it. <laughs> oh, boy. It's really on your 25th draft where it starts to get good. That's where it kicks in. Modern Sultai with retreats and goifs? What, 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 what do you mean retreats? I did actually, I think, okay, so I'm not sure if I really like the Oath uh, Battle for Zendikar uh, limited format or if I just did really well in it, so that might have made me feel better about it. I liked it. Hmm. Oh, retreat. No, you mean search. Search for Azkanta, not retreat to Azkanta. You're not retreating to it, you're search for it. Wow, another blue-white deck. Two blue-white decks. Search for Ann Candies? What? What? Search for Ann Candies? And Ann Candies? Mm -hmm. Search for Chicken Sandies? Delicious. <laughs> Delicious Chicken Sandies. That's what I pray for every day. Every day I do. I might even get a Chicken Sandy tomorrow. I actually no. really like Triple Cons. I like Triple Cons so much that I top eight a GP with Triple Cons. I don't know if liking the format makes you top eight it. Yeah, but you don't know. You're right. I don't know. Oh, look. They played one creature, and now I can no longer attack. <laughs> Hi. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so I need two more permanents. If I go land soul, then we have two pretty good attackers. Man, two threes are OP. I know, right? The Oh, what do you got? Three toughness? Alright, well you win. Oh, four toughness? You don't say. I will double block though, so that's fine. Oh, no attacks, eh? Okay. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Linner 519, three minutes in a row. Thank you so much, man. Welcome back. You are awesome. Welcome back. You know what that's from? You know what you're saying right there? I'm singing. I don't have to I don't have to be for anything, okay? I just only I just wanted to sing. Yeah, but it is from something though. Well, maybe we both created it. Okay, I'll give you that. Great draw. I was a great draw. Greg. We're going all in here. Maureen. There is a ghost behind me. You are not wrong. Frank, you look like someone touched your spaghetti. Oh, no. Well, the truth of the matter is that... Uh... Somebody touch my spaghetti! So maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Target creature gains indestructible until the end of turn. Do -do -do -do. I'll save you, resplendent Griffin. Resplendent Peter Griffin. Before our opponent deals four to you. And denies us a scry with their bombard. Why did you kill this one? That's weird. Whatever. Never come back. Remember that time I predicted exactly what they were going to do? Yes. Yeah, good times. Eh, could have been better. You're right. Somebody was too busy touching my spaghetti, I guess. <laughs> this is a fun game. I'm glad we did this. 
At what point is it no longer a skill format? It's literally just a luck format. That's what I'm wondering. Yeah. Ooh, that'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. What are you going to do now? Oh, God. So we can trade, like, two of our guys, and then you can just draw a million cards and gain a bunch of life? Yeah, it's okay. Well, you get to trade two guys, and they get to Sphinx's Revelation. It's fair trade, I promise. Yeah, probably just do it for, like, two or three, and then he'll draw that. Uh, he'll draw a one mana trick. He'll draw this? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Whatever you want to do, man. Whatever makes you feel good about your life choices. So now it's a three for one. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, now you just get to kill all three of these guys. That's good. I started out with this format was sweet, but the more I played MTG on Watch Frank, the more I think it's... This is how I felt. Like, I, I wanted to... Every every set I, I go into to draft, I think it's... I always give it the benefit of the doubt. I'm always like, all right, let's see how this format is. I get excited about it because I want to. I want to have a cool draft format, and then I, the more I play it, I'm just like, <laughs> "Are you just why? Why are Is you?" Is that the noise you make when you're having fun? That's the the noise I make when someone touches your spaghetti. Yeah, I wish we could bring back Holiday Cube, boy. That would be something else. Someone is definitely touching my spaghetti right now. And it's not fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, and then the more I draft it, I'm just like, okay, I'm not winning because my opponents are better. Or I'm not losing because my opponents are better. I'm losing because they drew two more flyers than I did. I'm losing because they played Azor and I don't have answers in my deck. Uh, you know, it's just... Oh my god, Chad Bradbury, 46 months. That's insane, buddy. Ooh. Chad, message me again and let me know what days you want to, what day or days you want to hang out so I can put it on my schedule uh, so I don't forget uh, the spaghetti. And... I just want to It's yeah I I think that is limited in modern times, right? I think that's actually how limited it has been going and I think that's why people didn't really like Kaladesh and the Revolt. People didn't really like uh people I think apparently people might have liked Amonkhet and Our Devastation. I don't know. That's that's a format I actually didn't draft a ton of. Um that's why people haven't been enjoying Ixalan and Rivals of Ixalan. I think because and I keep going on this rant. So if you guys are watching on YouTube or if you guys even right now on Twitch, if you guys uh, are, are have been watching previous drafts, you might be familiar with what I'm going to say here. But there's more universal answers in cube formats than there are in regular formats. So, like, you know, there's like, yeah. there's like a black common that kills any creature, which is awesome. But, I mean, no other colors have that. And I understand why they all can't have that, but... I mean, I don't know, dude. Like, what? What do you do against this idiot when they put when he's an? What do you do against an eight eight flyer that Sphinx's Revelation every turn? And I draw three one. Like, come on. Like, I don't understand. I can't. Like, am I just being like? Is this just like normal? Is this just how? Am I just like? I, am I? I don't understand. Like, is it me? I think the favorite wins out. I, I, I'm like, I'm just trying to figure it out. Like, am I just being? Like, I can't tell the last draft format that I really, really enjoyed that wasn't like a, a cube format. Cube formats are amazing. And also cube formats are the kind of formats where like you expect ridiculous things to happen. So you're like, if you get blown out by a turn two sneak attack Emrakul, you're like, I mean, it's a cube format. This is what I signed up for, right? So it's you're not surprised. You're not upset by it. If that if that happens to you in in Ixalan Limited, where they play like six six flying sphinxes revelation, like you're just like, okay, I, I can't compete with that. You know, what's an X mage? 
X Mage is the uh, black market Magic Online. Okay. Like Cockatrice. I don't know if you're familiar with that. Yeah. I yeah. Know that. Right. Stop complaining and know the way. <laughs> oh my God. Why? Why are you like this? I feel like it's normal in your used to cube. I think that's probably correct. I, I think that's probably correct. And like, I don't know. I don't know what that means. Like it's, it's interesting because like it's, I think it says something about me and drafting normal sets, but I think it might've been cons for me too. And the reason, the reason I really enjoyed cons was because as like most multicolor sets do, they feel like cube formats because you can draft all the colors. You can draft all the fixings. You can draft removal spells in colors that you're not in because you have enough fixing to play them. So you can do things that you might not do otherwise, dude. Oh, z whoa. Z, thank you so much. 50 bones. Wow. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. I will keep the content coming. And not just because you told me. I was going to do it anyway. But now I'll do it extra because you told me. My big problem is the super push for limited mythics and the power of rares in general. Back in 8th, you had like Beast of Burden at rare and Icy Mips at Uncommon. The disparity is just getting bigger. That's why Shadows over in Estrad, Cons, RTR, etc. Were so cool. Ra Return to Ravnica was also a great format as well. They had solid commons and uncommons. Most of the rares were just solid cards. Azor is literally a Sphinx. Yeah, it's exactly what it is. Cons was hot gas, hot turbo gas set with tons of answers and threats. And that's exactly what I said as well. And the fixing was on point. Yeah, all of those things are true. Like, because, like, formats like this lock you into two colors. You pick, like, two colors, and those are your colors, and you draft those colors. But then, like, those colors only have, like, a limited amount of things you can do. Like, so if you're red, you have Bombard, right? Or Unfriendly Fire. So you can deal four damage to a thing. But if you're, like, red-blue, short of bouncing a Zor, which isn't even that effective, like, you're not going to be able to kill it. <laughs> Yeah, you can't even do it till the turn after. Because, right. Unless, it, well, I guess you could have the, the creature bounce, but. But then you're going to run a guy into it and it's just going to eat it anyway, right. right? Yeah. So, like, there's no profitable way. There's very few profitable ways to kill an Azor in, like, a red-blue deck, which is super stupid. And, like, the, the argument is that, oh, it's mythic. You're not going to come across it that frequently. But I've come across it probably three times in seven drafts. And maybe that's the, the outlier? I don't know, but it's not fun, so... Why can't you just make better removal? Is that really an issue? I don't understand. Apparently. I get, yeah, apparently it is. Oh, my. Why aren't you a vampire? Well, I don't like understand. Any, anytime they print good removal now, it's a rare. So, it's a really hard to get. All the, rare remo all the good removal is rare. Except for the one... And all uh, the common black. and uncommon removal is either sorcery or seven mana. <laughs> and it's also normally in black. <laughs> right. Oh, look, a 2-3. Can no longer attack. <laughs> I can't. Like, it's like, what is this even? Oh, my God. Cool. I don't understand, dude. I mean, you could say a huge issue is related to how draft leagues work, but I don't think that's true. Like, we didn't see an Azor, and just because we didn't see it doesn't mean someone else isn't going to be picking it up, right? Like, plus, I don't have the same problems in, in cube drafts, right? I don't care if I'm playing against cards that were not in my pool. I don't care about that. What I care about is not having answers to cards that are in anyone's pool, right? Like, it's just... Yeah, I mean, someone... I mean, besides, even if we were doing, like, a regular non-league, like, someone could open an Azor and we'd have no idea, like... Right, that's what I mean. Like, if I'm just in a switch, like an eight-man draft where we play against each other, like, like there still could be an Azor in the pool. I guess we're just going to sheltering light, try to hit a land on top, I guess. I don't know. Yep. This is just such a bad, like, it's just, there's nothing. Sure. Innistrad through cons was pretty good. I agree with you. Yeah, it's weird. That's that's super weird. I agree with you. Um, Alara Re not Alara Reborn. Alara Reborn was, was fine because it was part of the, the whole block. But um, Avacyn Restored was pretty miserable. Ah, 3-4 Flyer yet again. Okay. Okay. 
Like, I want to direct, like, <laughs> the, um... What is it called? The play design team to, like, this this th chat just so they can get, like, some input. Because <laughs> that's really... I feel like it's relevant. Like, I feel like we all have good input here. Yep. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, if we draw a land, we can actually have City's Blessing and draw two. Yeah, you might have been a broke college student then, but I feel like you're doing pretty well for yourself now, Chad. So, that's pretty good. This format's this weird tension where, like, you want three threes and three fours, but they all cost three and four mana. And, like, if you draw too many, you're just going to get rolled over by the stupid, uh, the, the, the one and two mana decks. Like, <laughs> I just don't understand, like, now I can't even attack with this guy. Like, it's... Oh, Magic the Gathering. All right, so our opponent's just going to play Azor next turn because they have eight mana. Oh, Chad, I definitely understood what you meant. I'm just saying, like, it seems like a fine trade-off, all things considered. It, it seems like it ended up well for you. So. It's Frank and Jeff. Finally caught your stream. Been loving the YouTube content since Holly Cube started. Top streamers. Season. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. Glad you could catch a live one. We got a, we got a live one here. Oh, that's that's nice. That's cute. I almost I had a dream. I almost had a dream. Turns out it was just a meme. Look, we're literally unable to attack through this three four, and we're unable to deal with this three four. This is our life now. Four toughness op. Four toughness is op apparently. Even this guy, I could be like, trick you, but then they just go, nah, B, we got 3 4. <sighs> and the worst part about the drafts, the intermediate switch drafts, is that, like, you get nothing for one win. So, like, if I got one pack, I'd be like, okay, cool, I'll take it. I don't understand when your opponent can have this many creatures why a Doom Blade at, at common or a Lightning Bolt at common or lightning, like, even Lightning Strike at common is too powerful. <laughs> I don't understand it. Like, it's just... Oh, it doesn't kill your... It doesn't kill half of the creatures. It, it kills one creature on my opponent's board, a Lightning Strike. But it has to be an uncommon as opposed to every single common here. The new Magic Order. I really hate stuff like that where they just like... No, like, these have to be our rules and design no matter what. Right. Even like when it's like, well, you could just fix this format if you didn't do that. Like, Can't you not do that? Like, why, why does it have to be a general, like, why does it have to be, like, a it's just like, an all-encompassing... This, this is our religion. We must <laughs> adhere to it. Right. Like, it doesn't... Why does that matter? I don't understand. Like, can't you just try not doing that for one set? What is that... Like, Lightning Strike and Doomblade being at Uncommon are only relevant for Limited. Like it doesn't. You're not gonna make anything harder to get for constructed players. They're gonna have doom blades and lightning, lightning strikes. So like, I don't understand what you're preventing by keeping those cards out of limited at those rarities. Like, are you that like? Do you have that much of a hard on for like creature combat? Like, you're you want board states like this, so you keep like doom blades out of the common slot, like. Seriously? Like, what does that, what does that do? Yeah, sure. Make your, make your four or five flyer. Two turn clock, you got it. Maybe I'll draw a piece of removal. Oh wait, we don't have any removal. Hey, we got a piece of non-removal removal, apparently. So the funny thing is, if they... If they play this first and put a counter on here, we can bounce it. 
if they don't play it first, we can block it. So we do have options here. Do you remember the last time we were able to attack? No. I think it was turn three? Four? I feel like we never did. We attacked once to get one of these vampires. Oh, yeah, we used a trick for it. Mm -hmm. during it. Which is great value, by the way. And that's when attacking ended. We could attack for one and then played Dead Eye, Dead, Dead Eye Rig Hauler, but... We had ultimate price and lightning strike a common and return to Ravnica and it was fine. Uh, I wouldn't even say it was fine. I, I would say it was a great format. Even Elvish Mystic and M14 wasn't as abusive as they seem. I don't know. I don't understand Elvish Mystic and common. I don't, or, or being abusive. Like, I don't understand that. It's not it's easy to kill. Like, and if you're wasting your removal on that, you're not, you don't have it for something else. Like, yeah, ultimate price is great. Ultimate price is, is a great doom blade. This guy's coming in? Hmm. Oh, Chad. Have a good night, buddy. Thank you for hanging out and uh, for upping your sub. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. Much love. A spicy woo, woo brew in Mono Blue Devotion that uses Nykthos to smash out Mion of Seeing Winds and Master of Waves to draw infinite cards. Good lord. Alright, let's see what you do. Huh. Alright, block you with 2-2 two, two and 1-3. This had to be a misclick. This is a sorcery. Good times. <laughs> I totally forgot it was a sorcery. That's my bad. Like, that's on me, but... Maybe you thought we had Merfolk. I just thought it would be an instant because it's, it's... Why wouldn't it be? Like, it doesn't even make any sense. Oh, man, you gotta have a Merfolk for that card to be good. <laughs> Clearly. Clearly. I there was a three-man bounce spell. Please form. penalize me for not having a specific tribe. Yep. Hey, now you have more folk. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wow, I do have more folk now. Holy smokes. Mm -hmm. Good call. Unfortunately, I want to do it main phase so I can play Dead Eye Rigger and Crashing Tide. What's to stop them from just blocking here and here? Like nothing? Yes. <laughs> yes, that's correct. No, oh, all right, cool. So do I just play Glorifier on here? I feel like I do. Oddly enough, I feel like we're in better shape right now, and I have no idea what happened. Yeah, and we actually should have attacked one. There should have been a turn. I think we could have attacked with this guy to get a 1-1. One, one. But... Yeah, these stalled board states are just miserable, which is why I'm like, can we just not have them? Yeah, I think I think stalled board states are kind of indicative of uh, less fun formats, less less, because they're literally less interactive formats. Like you're literally saying, we have no way to actually interact with all these things, so they're just gonna sit there and run into each other. This can give any creature. That's weird. Why can't it only give? Why why not give only vampires plus one plus one? Sure. 
Frank is just pranking his son and told him to wear a green shirt. How messed up is that? <laughs> Forsaken Egotist, thank you so much for the for the sub. Really appreciate it, man. You are awesome. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. I'm okay, Dad. How are you, son? Wow, the roles really versed here, didn't they? A three six, huh? Huh. Block. I'm going to assume your last card is not a trick, and we're just going to play. If you want to trade 3-6 for a 3-3 or one of these, both of these, that's totally fine. Sure. A free token and a 2-2. You got it. Nope. Okay, the 3-3. Seems better. Whatever you want to do, buddy. Do you want to play some first persons tomorrow? Sure. Like whenever you get off work? We can do it. We can do a first person. We can start first person Friday uh, later. Yeah, after food or something. Yeah, you want to do that? Sure. What does this do? Oh, it's just no. Uh, no, oh, good. <laughs> good. All right, things were looking good. Now they're not. So that's cool. That's cool. It's not actually cool. It's almost like I lied to you about whether it was cool. I could throw a vampire just to bounce something with this guy, but I don't think that actually does anything. Unfortunately, we have no more flyers, so we can't actually block this guy anymore. Mm -hmm. I guess we could bounce this guy? I don't know if that's any good, but we'll do it. Get in there. By golly, we'll do it. They have no cards in hand, so unless they top deck Azor, I think we're fine. <laughs> Uh, we're probably never getting a Mike draft. And that's just not because Mike... That's not to be, like, mean or anything. Yeah, I should just practice playing Moto so people stop asking. All right, like... And I can just do it. <laughs> you can. It's definitely an option. I mean, we can do where I do the picks. Yeah, that's totally cool. But I feel like I'm, I'm re like, resigned to having to control it just because I'm much more familiar with the client. And, like, as you can see, we can't even, like... 3-0 a draft normally, let alone when, uh, you Jesus know. Jesus takes the wheel. When, <laughs> let alone when Jesus takes the wheel. It's cool because you have a raptor as a companion now. That's fair. Oh, look. Four, five. We're literally one shy of casting both of these. So I think we have to actually play Strider first because I don't want to die. It's amazing how this 3-4 is literally holding back our entire board. Because otherwise they go 2-2 two, two blocks 1-1, one, 3-3 one, three, three blocks 2-2, two, 3-4 two, three, blocks 3-1, three, or 3-2. Three, and then they take 3-4-5-6. And we just lose three guys. We yeah. just 3 for 0. Seems good. Hmm. I was literally I had to I had to read Dead Eye Rig Hauler just to make sure it couldn't only bounce your own creatures, or b bounce the opponent's creatures rather, because that's how a lot of cards work. They're like bounce a creature and opponent controls. Remember that time we were like, as long as our opponent doesn't top deck Azor. Mm hmm I think that was last turn. Yeah. There you go. Oh my God! They do it within one turn. How much do I need to donate for you to play Blue Tron? Oh, God. How much, man? What's your selling price? I feel like we're okay as long as they don't top deck Azor. Very next turn, they top deck Azor. And the very next day... I hate, like, when, when the draft goes this poorly, I almost hate putting it on YouTube. Because it's kind of like, well, I don't think it went as I don't think as well, it went as well as it could have gone. Like it, it feels like putting losing losing games is just bad. I don't know about that, but I don't either. Right? The problem is that like, I think there's a lot of valuable discussion taking place, and I think the games are worth seeing. Divine Verdict was actually a great draw. No, it's not. I mean, it's it's not. It doesn't matter. Like I get to kill the stupid Azor. No, you don't. No, no, no. On their turn, I do. 
Oh, sure. Because it's oh, yeah. it's okay. it's yeah, it's, it's only until that next player's turn. Here's the problem. They get to attack and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They get to draw six cards. So cool, we get to kill your guy. And you get to refill your hand when I have no cards in mine. Seems fair. Like, how does that end? Come on. Oh, goodness gracious. Vomit. <laughs> I'm gonna let you do it because, yeah. Please crack both your clues because or both your treasures because why wouldn't you? There you go. Draw six. Draw seven. They play to land. <laughs> ah, crying. Uh, wait, hold on. Come on. Oh my god, I thought there was something wrong. I'm like, wait, is this like some broken ability? Like, is this like not working? Why can't I target this guy? I guess it was just a normal magic online glitch. Eight to zero is the card count. 22 life to four life. Three, we can go three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight power, but they just went to 22, so that'll do it. Ooh, solid. <sighs> like, I'm just going to let them kill me because... Watch, they probably just have unfriendly fire in hand. They're just going to deal me four to the face. You ready? They're like, I don't even have to attack. We're not going to deal with this attacking nonsense. We'll just unfriendly fire you. You're fired. <laughs> Opponent top deck Azor. Frank top deck planes. Yeah, well. You're sure. Unfortunately, this planes does not draw me eight cards and gain me eight life. Even if it did, it would still be less powerful than their 6-6 six, six flyer that did the same thing. Here we go. I'm actually just hoping for the unfriendly fire because it's so poetic. Just shoot me in the face. I think they would have done it by now. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> Slow roll for value. Oh, lord. I felt great about this deck, too. I was like, cool, our deck looks decent. We got a bunch of flyers. We got a bunch of good cards. Target creature and point can, yeah, sure. You're going to kill my other flyer. Because, of course, you are. Drop the white, then play blue, and add Tron lands to the deck. I don't know if that's how... Um, I don't know if that's how limited works, but maybe. Mike is in the game. <laughs> oh. That is how it works. Oh, well, all right then. Oh, good. Just uh, some some one ones. Cool. It's funny because every time I've had one single flyer that was able to deal with this, um, they got rid of it. And every time they've had this, we have had no way to deal with it. So that's pretty good. Yeah, seems fair. I'm a fan. I guess we have to block, otherwise we die. Mill them. Only 13 turns. We have to just have to survive for 13 turns. 
So we can block this turn, and then if we draw 13 more flyers before they draw their deck, we win. Yeah, seems easy. I don't see what problem is. We have a lot of flyers, right? Yeah, a lot. There's another one. All right. Sweet 3-4. Perfect. Nailed it. Oh, wizards, please fix your stupid, miserable formats. Oh, also true. Sphinx's Rev was nowhere near as powerful and limited as Azor is in this format. I agree with you. And here's the thing. Go ahead. I was going to say, at least you didn't have to like get a 6-6 six, six out of it, you know? And here's the thing. like, So, that says to me that Azor was made for constructed formats. However, then they print Chupacabra, and you have no desire to play a 6-mana six 6-6 six, six flyer when they can play a 4-mana kill your guy. So I really have no idea where Azor goes. So does it go in Constructed? Does it go in Limited? It goes in Constructed Commander. That's where it goes. And nowhere else. <laughs> and that's it. That's the end. Literally there. Okay. Sounds good. So, for all you all you guys watching on YouTube, um, I apologize for the, the, the poor record. Um, but, I mean, I don't know. I also accept that maybe I'm just terrible at this format and everyone else is just better at me than this format. That is an option. Uh, I don't know if that's the case. And I don't know if that also doesn't mean the format is just not terrible. But... I don't want to. I don't want to leave I mean, it out of the realm of possibility. It feels a lot like the past format, and I don't think anyone likes that format. So, why is there a common kill spell with an identical kill spell on an uncommon creature? Yeah, there's both the the murder, the four mana murder in this format, and the four mana chupacabra. Exact same card, only one is on a two two. I uh, I don't get it. Hey, look, this hand's pretty good. We'll probably lose. It might be because I don't know the way. Wow, you are really you are really milking that meme tonight, boy. I'm okay, Dad. It's only a game. Why you have to be mad? That's what I. That's what I'm wondering. Why you have to be mad? Like, are we both in the O2 bracket? Is that what we're in? Because I don't even see the point. Like, what's the point of even playing in the O2 bracket other than the entertainment value and for the uh, the, the videos? But, I mean, we're going to do it, but I don't know the point. Come on, Binks. Get your, get your life together. Yeah, what are you, mulling to, mulling to mulling four? To four? Wow. Oof. Well, they went to five, but they're thinking about going to four. Chester Pratt, have a good night, buddy. Oh, they, they did go to four. Not like this. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, God, and they're on the draw. Actually, I think I did actually figure out the trick to this format. You just have your opponent mull to four. Whoa, slow down, buddy. This game is not over I was, I was just thinking, I'm like, we'll probably still lose. Don't he worry. He just plays land, 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 land. Azor. We still probably lose. It's going to go island planes, and we're going to be like, wow. Three in a row, I guess. <gasps> it's not an island or a plains. Red, huh? Well, see you later. 30 fun bucks. Do you get play points if you go one, three? I don't, or, or oh, one, two? I don't think so. I think, find you, out. I think you literally get nothing. Oh, the triple red. Mm, I guess we just go a little cutie. A little dumpling coming down. I'm waiting for the day I'm going to put a mold of three, play six swamps in a row, then start slamming prey counters. <laughs> yeah, that's a good time. Three, three. That's good. It's not bad. 
Which one are we playing here? This guy or this guy? I guess it's this guy for now. This isn't a little dumpling? No, a little dumpling is uh, the green dude. Can't this guy also be a little dumpling? Why can't they? Look at this guy. This guy is the, the littlest dumpling ever. That was, you're right, Chesh, uh, Cherished Dino Baby was the little dumpling. That's that's true. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can actually get City's Blessing here, which is nice. That's real nice. Let's get a Blessing. So we got to tap this guy down. Uh -huh. Come on, little dumpling. Can this guy be Little Dumpling 2.0? Can this guy be little bigger dumpling? Me medium dumpling? I can't remember its actual name now because I only know it as Little Dumpling. <laughs> Oh, well, isn't that its real name? Are you trying to say the little dumpling is not its real name? This dude's dead. No, you're not dead? Is our opponent dead? Well, he did mold a four, so... Okay, well, they have died. You all, everybody! What a fun, interactive game. Every game we've had so far has been fun and interactive. It has to get more cringy the more dumpling they get. He'd have to be Whittle Dumpling. <laughs> oh god, I swear to god I only stream for the chat and not for the limited the the great limited matches. Dude, you are legit disappeared. You are legit transparent. <laughs> Literally a floating head. Oh lord. Oh, Whittle Dumplin. I can't. You're gross. Yeah, I know it. Like, this deck actually seems pretty decent, I think. As far as blue removal, we have two Deadeye Haulers. We have two of the Deadeye Rig Haul. I don't know what the card's called. We have two of the, the three mana bounce spells. So we have ways to deal with things in this color. We don't have any pious interdictions or... Uh, the other ones, but the funny thing is, Mike's shirt's not even green. We went over this earlier, but it's actually like a like a tealish blue. Oh, they went to six, which is not five, which is not four, but I do like this uh, three into four here, which is kind of nice. You all, everybody, do you remember that song? Yeah. Did you see a lot? Did you watch Lost? Uh, all but like the last season. How do you not watch the last season? Because it got really weird. With no, the temple. It was and good. The time machine. I've watched it twice. Good for you. <laughs> I wasn't bragging. I just want to let you know. Can I, can a guy just share his 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 loss with a friend? I guess you can. No, well, I did. So done. You all, everybody. Three drop into four drop into mic drop. That's you. No. Yes, it is. No. You get real weird sometimes. Mike, sometimes. You, so I, we were, me and Mike went to get some food today, and he's like, I didn't take a shower today, so I had to do the hobo shower. And why don't you tell people what the hobo shower is? Uh, that's where you wash your face, and right. then you put deodorant on in the normal spots and then in other spots. You get a little on the wrist, a little on the neck, a little on the belly, <laughs> a little on the back. And you're good to go. Yeah, when he told me he put a little deodorant on the belly, I was just like, that's funny. That's actually hilarious. Also, they took our guy. They took our that's jarbs, good. so. Someone has to. Yeah, I guess that's true. Oh, little dumpling. Oh, I guess this guy's not a little dumpling, right? He's a bit of a cutie. I don't want to play you because you just die. 
I don't want to play. I, I totally want to try a three three for this idiot. Whatever. I don't even care. <sighs> I wish I had a way to get rid of this. But I don't. Oh, that's a good one. It's a real good one. <sighs> yeah, it's whatever. It's weird because I feel like if our opponents aren't mulliganing, like we're just not even in the game. Seems like a good uh good way to play. You all everybody. One, two, three, four, six, seven. All right. Oh. You gotta put a little deodorant on the wrists. That's interesting. Because you get real you get wrist sweat, so you're like, oh, I can put a little deodorant on my wrists. I feel like you could just wash your wrists with soap and water, right? That would defeat the purpose of the hobo shower. <laughs> now we just get in the actual shower. Really? Because washing your hands in the sink is Well, washing your wrists, then you might as well do your arms and I mean <laughs> you might as well just you know. Go for the whole the whole thing. Yeah, that's a good point. I hadn't considered that. Look, it's an exact science to waking up at, at 4 p.m. and taking a hobo shower. I, I can understand that. It makes a lot of sense. I, I hadn't considered that. I apologize for doubting you. This guy has double strike. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All right, so you're one away from... Nope, that was it. Okay. Okay. I'm going to block you. Oh, man. Game Crank. Thank you so much for the 8-month sub. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. FTL Hunts indeed. Oh, that's a 4-4. Four -four. That's actually not bad. I mean, we it dies to this, but, you know. Other than that. Other than that, great. You all, everybody. Alternatively, we could, I guess, bounce this guy and play this. I guess we're going to three and hope they don't have a way to either kill this or kill us. Because then we die. Here comes lightning strike to the face. You ready? I'm waiting for it. Me too. I'm waiting for the... I'm waiting for the uh, unfriendly fire. Little cutie! Little dumpling. That is a little dumpling. I think we can attack here. I think we have to attack here. You don't have to do anything. I guess that's true. I'm probably just going to bounce this stupid Stormfleet swashbuckler. So I can save myself a turn. Oh, they're going to do something. They're just going to kill us. I see. I was going to bounce your guy anyway. That's fine. You all, everybody. Oh. What's happening right now? Well, they don't have another dinosaur, so that's good. Oh, that was a good draw. You might say that was a great draw. Would you like to use this ability? Well, yeah, obviously. Who wouldn't, you know? So another one card is the stupid idiot. 
And now I have eight in the air. Okay. Don't play another dinosaur. That's not a dinosaur. All right, we're feeling good. Feeling good. Ooh, that's a good dinosaur. And by that, I mean Vam Vampirino. I'm just going to go one here and uh, kill them next turn. Ideally. I think we just won our final match, but they still get one card. Plus whatever's already in their hand. This is a blank. So they have two dudes. Good games. All right. That's where they go, unfriendly fire your face. All right, we won the match. We went 1-2, valiantly 1-2, and no uh, prizes whatsoever, unfortunately. All right. For those on YouTube, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons. Sorry about the poor record, but I think we had a good discussion about Limited, and I'll see you guys next time.